Good afternoon. So here we are, we're into January and uh, it's gangbusters. Good afternoon, it's Brandon Devnish from i3D Themes with this week's interactive number 71, where we share what we're passionate about and what we've been working on here in the i3D Themes design and code labs. So we'll start off in the design lab. A little alert, so just pop up there. Uh, actually really quite exciting and it, I think I mentioned this this time of year we get a huge influx of interest in renovating websites for whatever reason um, everybody says hey it's a new year a new resolution I'm gonna work on my website and get it you know renovated or whatever maybe make it mobile responsive finally this happens three times a year usually for us uh, beginning of January after tax season at the end of May and then again in September when everybody goes back to school. This seems to be the times that uh, people identify with in getting back at it. So we have seen um, quite an influx of interest in everything from optimizing websites for page speed to you know making websites mobile responsive, changing from a WordPress theme to a website template, and then from a template to a WordPress theme, a whole bunch of content transfers. And so, um, you know, it's been pretty interesting on the phones. Colin's been juggling a bunch of that. And uh, so it's been keeping him busy. And when he's not doing that, he's been working on the brand new design that he's working on as a website template, but he's gonna be flipping it pretty quick over to, um, to make it into a WordPress theme. So that's been pretty exciting. In the Code Lab, it's been a really interesting week. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Uh, it, early on in the week, I wrote an article about how to defer uh, render blocking CSS and what render blocking CSS is and in doing my research I wanted to give an example of how it, it was done in the past and I was going to give an example of something called load CSS When we started developing for the Numo accelerator plugin and then the Pegasus accelerator plugin uh, The you know, we, we investigated load CSS and found out that um, It just really wouldn't work for us it, kind of clumsy. So we had to develop our own solution. And though um, you know, we had to develop our own solution, I was going to give this as an example of what has worked in the industry before. So in doing that, I went to the Load CSS website and found out they've upgraded to version 2. And it's awesome. It's a really great solution. So I'm like, I need to be able to figure out what, what's going on here and integrate it into our system. Uh, so in any case, uh, we did that. We actually integrated that in late last night and the scores, we actually saw scores creep up again, which is pretty exciting for Pegasus Accelerator. Um, also, we saw that the, the Google PageSpeed Insights tool was updated this week. I was doing tests, running it, and then before my very eyes, the interface changed. And in fact, every day this week, their algorithm is changing. We're finding that things that didn't matter earlier on in the week now matter or and, and they're shifting things around. This is actually really very exciting. It shows that they are actively putting work into this um, algorithm and this metric. So if you're not concentrating on making sure that your website is as fast as possible, it's, it's going to become pretty obvious that um, it's going to impact you. And Google's going to be pretty interested in how fast websites are coming up here pretty quick. Um, what else has been going on? Well, I want to share a couple stories. First one has to do with New Year's resolutions. And then because I was saying we get a lot of websites or a lot of people coming in looking for a renovation on their website, a New Year's resolution. I don't do New Year's resolutions really. I started my New Year's resolution last May. It was about, uh, I turned 40 earlier on and uh, found out pretty quick that at 40 your metabolism changes. I'd been doing, obviously this job, you're sitting a lot maybe not exercising, maybe not eating as healthy as you should be. And uh, on top of that, I'd had an injury to uh, my leg and wasn't able to really be very active. Now that I've, you know, gone to see a chiropractor and physiotherapist, you know, things are progressing and it's been really good. But I had to make a decision last May uh, for my health. And you have to carve out time for yourself uh, to make sure that, you know, you're healthy and you have to make that a priority. And it's sometimes hard when you're self-employed or you're in a business like web development where you're, it's, it's go, 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 and you're so into it before you realize it, five hours have passed, and oh, you only have time for a sausage McMuffin or a donut and coffee, and you know maybe uh, you haven't gotten out for your exercise for the day. 
Well, since then, you know, I've, uh, I've dropped 15 pounds, put on some muscle. I feel really great, much more active. We, you know, carve out time every day, either before uh, starting in the morning or at lunch break to go for, um, you know, pretty vigorous walk. I highly recommend it to anybody there. But uh, on the topic of New Year's resolutions, uh, my wife and I sort of said, hey, why don't we try spending some more time together doing something like yoga? Uh, I've never done yoga before. But I thought, hey, sure, why not? So she booked us in for um, some time, got a sitter for hot yoga. So I said, I'm game. Sure, let's go for it. And, um, and so what we, we did, I, we booked the time, went to go and to get there. And unfortunately, I didn't make it in time just due to obligations and traffic in town. But it left me downtown while my wife was enjoying her yoga class and uh, left me in town with nothing to do. So that actually gave me some time to go check out Fort Tectoria, which is a business hub for technology um, companies. It's a co-location sort of office situation where you can rent part-time offices uh, in downtown core of Victoria. I don't normally get down to the core of Victoria very often. I used to work down there, but uh, once you move, move out to the burbs, you tend not to head back downtown. It, be a little busy so the um, so I got a chance to check that out and the really sweet lounge and coffee coffee lounge down there uh, it was after hours obviously but uh, they have really super fast Wi-Fi and really nice comfy chairs and then I met the wife for dinner after that um, and so but it was uh, kind of neat to get a chance to take a look at how um, that setup is it's actually run by Viatech which is uh, I think it's short for Victor Island Technology Association uh, which um, runs the what they call the accelerator program, completely unrelated to Pegasus Accelerator and Numo Accelerator. It's an accelerator program for startups and where they help uh, uh, support and endorse um, you know, startup businesses and technology like that. The very final story that I want to share with you is something I think is really timely to this time of year. Uh, you know, it can be really dark outside, uh, really dreary, especially in North America. I know here in Australia, it's just melting hot. So if you're watching this from Australia, uh, you're probably not relating to this quite so much right now. But uh, here in North America, it's really dark. Um, the, the days are long. I think we're some pretty quick coming up on Blue Monday, I think it's called, where it's the saddest day of the year for whatever reason. And I think it's really important um, that this, this is a really good lesson. It happened while I was driving one of my sons to school and he was doing his home reading. And his home reading said, uh, you know, he's got to read this book. And so he's reading the book, not as homework, but in the car work. So he's reading it. He's finished. Dad, I, I, need, I need to sign off on this. I said, well, what's the book about? Tell me about it. He says, oh, I've already read it before, Dad. Well, well tell me about it. He says, well, it's about, about these two girls, and they're going to run a race. But uh, one girl says, I've got new shoes, and the other girl doesn't. And so the girl with new shoes, she figures she's going to win. But it turns out that the girl that didn't have new shoes won the race. And I said, well, that's a really great lesson, Jackson. There's lessons in that. What, what do you figure they are? He's, and he says, don't brag. I'm like, that's really good. Yes, don't brag. But how about uh, don't ever give up? He says, and, and believe in yourself? And I said, and, and believe in yourself, yes. I said, this actually is very much like something that happened to me when I was your age. You see, when I was your age, I had a paper route. And I made a bunch of money, I bought a BMX bike, I bought a helmet, and I was going to ride in, in BMX races. And so my dad took me to the BMX track, and, um, and I, I was going to participate. And what happens? I get up there, and they don't have anybody else that's, that's brand new, so they put me up against somebody that's had a little bit of experience. Maybe they said, I'll take it easy on this guy. I don't know. So we start off, he's on the right. We go down the first hill, and we come up on the first corner, and I guess he takes the high road and I'm like, ooh, here's my opportunity. I sneak in front of him and I was able to keep ahead of him and I pedaled my little legs around the next corner and across the bumps and I get around the, the final corner and into the end and I, I, I beat him by like this much. I was pretty stoked. I was pretty high on myself. The next race came along. He realizes he can't rest on his laurels. And we start off, we go down and he's, but in the first corner he's like one, one bicycle length ahead of me, and the next one he's another bicycle length ahead of me. So he's like, and by the end of it, I, I'm like, what's happened? And he's beat me hands down. And I said to my son, I said, do you think I could have given up there? See, the moral of the story is don't give up. Because in the third race, I realized I really got to give it. So we go, and the, the other guy's ahead of me in the first 
turn in ahead of me in a second, but I'm really, really pushing him and he's really trying as well. We get around to the bumps. And I guess because he was trying so hard, he hit the bumps really hard and his handlebars gave out. And he did a nosedive. And all these people swarmed to help the guy and I'm like pedaling and I'm like, see ya, I'm gonna go finish this race. And to this day, I am an undefeated BMX champion. But the moral of the story is, is that you never know what's going to happen. Not until the very last minute, you don't know what's going to happen. Don't ever give up. You don't know what that next phone call is going to give you. You don't know what that next lead, if you're going to, you know, be searching the web for something. And you just, you just never know. So in life, whatever it is that you're aiming for, don't ever give up. Because anything worthwhile is worthwhile fighting for. And you just got to hang on just a little bit more. And you never know what's going to be around the next corner. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me. Hope you've had a